What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I got more science toys gadgets. Let's see what I got. Have you ever wished your spin top would not stop, would spin forever? And there's so many cool different spin tops. Well guess what? I got one right here. Let's spin it and see what happens. I'm gonna spin it very lightly. And look, it's actually starting to speed up. And look at that, it speeds up so much that it's starting to do circles, like a perpetual motion. But, not to disappoint you, it's actually electric. And just going to keep going, I love the noise it makes, it sounds so cool and at the same time very satisfying because it's doing these different circles. Well, let me show you how it works. Whoa, it spins really, really fast. It just flew off. If you grab right here, open this, boom. You got right here 9 volt battery and I'm pretty sure this is electric magnet. I'm not, I could be mistaken. Let me know in comments below how does this work. Okay, spin it again. I spun it very, very lightly and as you can see it's starting to speed up. And in the box it says it's going to continue spinning for hours. Technically it will not stop till the battery dies. It is so cool and satisfying. Look at these different weird circles it spins. I love this thing. And once again if I take out the battery. It spins a while. It spins a long time. But after a little bit it will fall out. As you can see. Boom, it's about to fall down. With the batteries, completely different story, so much longer. For the next science story, I got here a rattle back. This is a little plastic piece right here. Sometimes they come in wooden. And what happens when you spin it? It will spin, stop, rattle back and start spinning the other way. It works way better on a smooth surface. Oh, there you go. You see it's spinning the other way really, really fast. Even though I'm spinning this way, look at that. It's like, nope, I'm gonna spin the other way. And if I do it with the left hand, it doesn't do it. But if I do it with the right hand, it spins, rattle, and spins the other way. So funny. Every single time. Well, actually, it's not about the hand. If I spin it this way, it will not rattle back. If I spin it this way, it will rattle back and spin the other way. Why is that? If you flip it over and look in the back right here, as you can see, it is set up a little bit to the side right here. Bubble comes out this way and then this way. And this design, distribution and weight makes the rock spin the other way. And it's going to happen every single time as long as you spin it this way. You can spin it really, really hard. It's still going to go the other way. It's pretty fun toy for sure. So interesting how it does few spins this way. And it's like not. Let me go the other way. So unique. I love it. For the next science toy gadget I got here gyroscope. I have put to the test few gyroscopes before, but I really think this one is the best. Most gyroscopes, you need a rope. This one, you don't need a little rope. This is, with a rope, it's really hard to start them, and it's pretty annoying. You can get one of these zip ties type of deals. I've been wanting to put to the test this gyroscope for a long time with the zip tie right here. You put the zip tie in like that, Then hold it and just blast it out. Oh, the other way. Didn't spin it hard enough or something. Let's try this again. There you go.
on that side it's going to be even better oh, it's losing its speed and it's going to stop and you know it's the best part about this gyroscope once it's done you just put the zip tuck in instead of the rope you gotta rope it up and then you can miss it and it's kind of annoying to start it this one is a lot easier Super cool, you can lift it up, set on one of these things and it's just amazing. You can grab it again, put it over this way, oh, I think it's just losing its energy already. Let's do this again, I really love this gyroscope. So far, honestly, if you're going to buy a gyroscope for your kids or for yourself, make sure you buy one with one of these zip tie locks, whatever you call it, so that way it's a lot easier to start it. But at the same time, if you misplace this zip lock piece, you can get a regular stain and put it through and use a stain as well. And if you let go, you see it just let's go and takes forever to wrap it up but let me show you what it's going to look like when you start it with the stain and this is the most gyroscope work like that this is the lone stain there you go almost done okay you grab a stain and pull it like this and there you go There you go, you can put it sideways, maybe a little bit more sideways. Let's see how much sideways can it go. There you go, super cool, don't you think? Um, even more sideways, there you go. That is cool, and it finally fell. For the next science toy gadget, this is a spin top illusion. Stare at the center of your wheel for 20 seconds, then look at the back of your hand. So this is what we're going to do together. I'll set the camera up, close up, stare down here for 20 seconds, and then look at your hand. It is going to be pretty cool illusion. Let me spin it better. Whoa, this is so crazy. Did you do it? Your hand looks like it's floating. I really love that illusion and it's so easy to just bring it with you. You don't have to have technology looking it up on a cell phone. You can start up that illusion on the table for anybody to see for your friends and family. So much fun for sure. And at the same time, that spin top looks so beautiful. I really like it a lot. So simple, you spin it, you stare right in the middle of it for 20 seconds and then anything will look like it's floating. Such a cool illusion. But even cooler spin top. For the next science toy gadget, check this out. I got a green ball. Boom, it's blue now. Boom, it's green again. Magic. And if you look at it closer, what happens every time you throw, it actually opens up like this and closes all in the air. How cool is that? Check this out. On one side, it's all blue. On the other side, it is all green. And when you toss it, it changes the color because it opens in the air and instantly closes. Well, there you go guys, pretty satisfying science toy. And for the next science toy, there is a little rock, but if you touch it, put your finger on the back of it, it's going to change the color. Check this out, to yellow, and then it's going to change to this uh, green and yellow and continue changing. See what happens. We're going to keep warming it up, 
now it's very blue and yellowish and green and it's going to completely turn into dark dark blue how cool is that and it's actually turning into purple check this out whoa I didn't expect it how many colors is this gonna be and now it's turning into like what is this yellow white red kind of thing so if you continue rubbing it and warming it up whoa check this out now it's almost yellow and green again so it's a constantly changing the colors and if you let it go put it in a cold table let's see what happens it changes back to red orange and I think it's going to go back to blue and gray I guess it's going to take a while to cool off but right now it's at the blue and it's slowly cooling off still and I see some green around it you see it's green and some yellow on the side now such a unique necklace what a great idea if you buy this for your daughter and they can show it off in class definitely make kids curious so cool and for the last toy this is like a puzzle this is a two puzzle if I lay it on the table flat it will look like this and if you let it go you see it spins all the way around so the point of this toy to put them all together hold it in your hand like that and it is very very hard I've been playing with this toy for like I don't know maybe 20 minutes I got close I put like most of them in except one or two and then I failed they just completely fell apart so this is called two balance you see I put three together and if I spin it fast it'll just spin like crazy so you gotta be really patient and use your balance and not to mess it up so as you can see the top two almost together almost third one in and this is like the best I can do okay three on top all together and two on the bottom all together yeah just gotta put this two in but if I go too fast trying to spin it around it just won't work you see I'm just too behind come on and just using my motion up and down side to side and all around so that way it would go in place it seems easy but it is so difficult this is impossible almost but it is possible I've seen it this is the whole point of this game and you know it's funny when I don't pay attention I get so tensed up and I'm like okay gotta relax so that way once you relax it should be a little bit easier to have the bounce you see I'm like just stuck on those two I almost get it all and then I just continue spinning at least I have the three top ones that's even hard to do as well it's just so difficult I'm gonna put it on my other hand because this hand is getting tired now okay I'm even worse with my left hand and you see it's kind of locks in once you put it in on top of each other it doesn't lock in but it kind of is like set in bounds so once you get a fourth one in it'll be a lot easier but I just can't get it the right way I'm usually stuck on the third one oh almost it just sometimes just spin to all the way it doesn't work the other way come on come on you almost there there you go look at that it's falls in this is why it's called two balance Ooh, I gotta be careful not to lose it this is the closest I ever been 
you know you can take it off so easily all of them back to the whole side so you gotta be very very careful using the balance that's why it's called two balance and you gotta spin it a little bit to the side up uh, almost but without doing it too much so to where it's just gonna fall apart the top once again I'm so close I can't believe it I'm getting tired look I'm just one behind I'm just one behind come on guys this is the best I ever been at will I do it today ah oh, man Oof, almost lost it all it's kind of like sin once you put it in the right spot there's like a sweet spot somehow it's like sin a little bit but I have to be from the top to bottom looks like oh almost said it oh whoa almost lost it all I can see the top wants to come off again I'm like so close I can't believe this this is actually fun okay there you go there you go there you go I just need uh, one more left look at it going back and forth everywhere yes yes I got the two balance oh don't come off go back in you see what I'm saying <laughs> once it takes off it's kind of difficult and if you go with too much movement it will fall apart completely I'll demonstrate that in a minute Ah oh, man, I almost got it and then middle one came out. Boom, and now it's all balanced. Wow, I've been working on this thing for so long and I was actually going fast at it and I couldn't figure it out how to go and I was like shaking it and it would just wouldn't go in. And it would be like kind of frustrating, but at the same time it's fun. This is the first time me beating it and I actually could not figure out how to do it for longest time looks like from the top to the bottom for me work the best well guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite don't forget to thumbs up this video subscribe and I'll see you next time